The University of Alberta acknowledges that we are located on Treaty 6 territory and respects the histories, languages, and cultures of First Nations, Métis, Inuit, and all First Peoples of Canada whose presence continues to enrich the vibrant community. My name is Ellen Lyle, and I wanted to thank you for joining our metasage of brief provocations as we explore walking as attuning to an earthly curriculum. Beginning from the assumption that we must learn to wonder as we wander, our symposium aims to advance theory and practice as they relate to walking. We understand walking as both an intentional physical activity and a curricular understanding of traversing with and through landscapes of topical relations in attunement with the earth. We assume that insights gained through such attunement are accessed through deep consciousness of and presence with. And as such, we take up attunement in a variety of ways, spiritual as belonging in nature, intellectual as learning about relationships, physical as affecting the body, emotional as exploring love of nature, and imaginative as learning through creative engagement. Through critical, qualitative, creative, and arts-integrated approaches, we engage the praxis of living and being within relation. As co-editors of this JCAC special issue, Jody, David, and I are delighted to be joined by several contributors both to the volume and to this metasage. We have prepared a braiding together of multiple contributions, and once the video is completed, we look forward to introducing the contributors and opening the floor to conversation.
I wonder once again about that red thread of fate and if my soul connection is to place rather than person. A sound broke over the quiet, misty waters and engulfed me in recognition and memories of Alberta. The wail of a loon, answered by its mate, affirming that all is well. In that calling, I felt a familiarity and connection to my new home of Newfoundland. It was an invitation of a bodily reclaiming. The forest, the loons, and the fairy folklore were calling us back into relationships relationships that we often ignore in standardized educational settings. I have sauntered through passages at your edge, ribbed stones, craggy rocks forged in moisture. I too hydrate, precipitation of tears release in my gait, 
the pocket in my sacrum sheds the last lines of stress held from the juncture of not knowing what might come. Purged by wind off the shore in a land where too many voices diminish soul's yearning, I open in increments to what my body has always known. What's the matter, Martin? What? You mad? The breezes lusciously ripe with salt air and sunlit kisses transform the land to a mellow richness punctuated by clover, potato blossoms, and hope. Not to be upstaged, the canola fields outshine the sun even as the wheat waltzes. Together, ancient and elegant, they captivate with a choreography that lingers. Enraptured, I am filled to every corridor of my soul. <laughs> 